predators lurk online looking to harm unsuspecting children. This week is Stay Safe Online Week, and we are doing a series of stories on WIS about Internet safety. Tonight, our Megan Norman investigates some of the online dangers and takes us inside the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force. These aren't just pictures. These aren't just movies. These are, this is evidence of sexual abuse of children. These are um, not adult females dressed as schoolgirls. These are infants being brutally raped. Investigator Lucinda McKellar has been tracking predators and seeing these images for the last 10 years. Every time you download that video and every time you watch it, you are re-offending that child. It is not a harmless crime where there is no victim. McKellar is part of the state's Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force. 34 members from agencies all across the state work with the Attorney General's office to protect the vulnerable. And since 1998, uh, ICAC, as we call it, has evolved from not just an education type of program, but a detection, prevention, and prosecution uh, tool for law enforcement. ICAC specializes in investigating child pornography and cases of sexual exploitation of minors. They get tips all the time from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Children are no longer just molested on playgrounds. Um, they can now be molested through the use of the Internet. McKellar sees it every day. When I first started working these types of cases, Yahoo was a location that people were predominantly going into chat rooms and soliciting children. Then that moved into MySpace, then that moved into Facebook. And um, we're learning about new websites all the time. Sites like Omegle or Uvu, where you can video chat. Children are in this video chat with someone and they end up trading new photos of themselves or receiving new photos. Chat rooms can be a grooming ground for a predator to entice a child. And he talks about, uh, would love to talk about those legs wrapped around me. Gaming sites. It could be as simple as talking about the game and then it moves into a friendship that moves into a solicitation that moves into um, not only talking about sex but wanting to meet to have sex. The conversation can move from the computer screen to text messages to real life in-person encounters. McKellar says security software, parental controls and blocks only do so much. I would never rely solely on a software to protect my child. There, nothing beats a parent being vigilant. She and other undercover agents make it their mission to stop the abuse before it happens. After a while, it just makes you so mad that you're driven, and you just want to make sure that you do everything you possibly can to make sure this isn't happening to some other child. In the last 15 years, ICAC has made close to 400 arrests with nearly 250 convictions. They still want to do more. One uses the internet to try to prey on a small child or anyone for that matter. We are going to find a way to get that information to a jury so we can convict you. In Columbia, Megan Norman, WIS News 10. On Tuesday, WIS investigates the profile of a predator. We look at some of the behaviors that can make them target children. Then Friday, join us and the Attorney General's office for a town hall forum. It will be held at Meadow Glen Middle School in Lexington starting at 7 p.m. There will be social media experts there to give kids and parents tips for how to protect their family.